Hi everybody, uh, Mike Harden from Harden Graphics doing our little hi history lesson on the early years at Harden Graphics. We just returned from a um, wonderful trip up to the national parks and we're back to work now. And um, what I wanted to do today was talk about uh, the 70s and 80s at Harden Graphics. Bill, my brother Bill, um, things really started moving for him when uh, a friend named Steve McCandless, when Steve McCandless uh, came over and uh, gave him some business and the business started picking up and, and his, his shop was booming in the mid 70s. I was off, uh, uh, I, 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 I studied accounting at San Diego State and I was off doing various things, odd jobs here and there. I worked for the motion picture industry for a while, took a job as a phlebotomist and, uh, and uh, uh, anyway, I, I showed up at Hardin Graphics in 1981. Uh, I had kind of bombed out. Uh, I was up in Oregon living and uh, you know I had some emotional issues as a result of uh, being in Vietnam. Today they call it PTSD but anyway I, I kind of bombed out and I was having a lot of trouble. So I came back home where, uh, where uh, I was most resourceful and I had friends and family here. So I came in and I talked to Bill and he said well come on in and work. We'll get you, we'll find something for you to do. So I started off by sweeping the floor. And um, he could see that this was his opportunity to, to do what he wanted to do for uh, a few months. So he, he, he was studying Aikido at the time, the martial arts, and he went up to uh, Michigan to study under the master. Uh, he, he was uh, going for his brown belt in Aikido so that he could instruct. Anyway, during that time he was away, I, had, I was working with my brother, my younger brother, uh, Steve, and his wife. And uh, my mom was uh, working in the office and just, uh, it's kind of a family deal. Anyway, uh, the problem was I was working for my younger brother and he was, he was you know, it just, that's not right. <laughs> so uh, things didn't work out. Um, we had a big uh, disagreement and uh, I, I, I went off and started my own company called Newport Graphics. So from 1981 to 1986, I was operating Harden, uh, New, excuse me, Newport Graphics, and I did really, really well. I was operating it out of my house, and um, and uh, I probably made more money working in my garage than I've ever have ever since. But uh, nonetheless, in uh, in '86, my brother was really burnt out with uh, with Harden Graphics, and he wanted to move up north. He wanted to move up north, so. Uh, he, he was going to sell, he sold his business to my mother, my brother Steve, my younger brother Steve and I. And, uh, and he went off into, he went off into, uh, up to Washington and we started in 1986. And so that was the beginning of uh, 1986. So anyway, our first year we survived and we were really happy about that. So we had this big party. We chartered a boat down on the, on the bay and invited all of our customers to come and we catered it and there was booze and all kinds of fun things and it was a great uh, opening for us. So um, anyway, we, uh, we started and uh, we, Steve and I, my mom all worked together and then um, in, I think it was about 1988, my mom started getting sick and wasn't feeling well. So we kind of put her out to pasture, Steve and I did and, uh, and we started running the shop ourselves. So, um, we did that uh, up until the 90s, and then uh, in 90, 1990, my mother passed away, leaving just Steve and I. So um, Steve and I worked uh, into the 90s and uh, picking up new customers all the time. That was the kind of the boom era. Everything was going great. A lot of surfwear companies were coming to us to uh, prototype and get their first articles, and um, it was a good. Uh, it was a good beginning for Steve and I. And uh, so that brings us up to the 90s, and um, there's more to tell. How about the story of when you took the shop hostage? That's the kids and I, one of our favorite stories. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> I mentioned that uh, I had some emotional issues as a, as a result of uh, uh, being in Vietnam. Well, anyway, um, I, uh, I said that I had some emotional problems. Well, the reason I started up my own company was uh, Newport Graphics was because um, it got so intense and I was so upset that I took, uh, I got really upset at my brother Steve and my mother and, and I took the shop hostage. 
I ran them off three times and they kept coming back saying, this is ridiculous, Mike, you can't do this, this is nuts. And, I, and after the third time, I finally, finally uh, said, you know, you're right, I'm out. So I left. And um, so um, I had to kind of kind of leave and, and uh, things were pretty tough and, uh, for a while. And then uh, what happened to me, I was 32 years old and in 1981, I got sober. And I started, uh, started the uh, process of getting sober. And then things really started working out. Uh, my family saw that I was really making a big change. And after about six, eight months, they saw me um, change. And so one by one, everybody else followed suit because you know we're, we're a bunch of crazy Irish uh, uh, alcoholics in our family. But uh, anyway, so that was the big upset that got me into my new company. And then, um, and uh, I think that's it. That's what we need to do right now. Bye.